Today we will change the rear differential oil on this 2002 Chevy Avalanche. It is recommended to change the differential oil every 30 to 50,000 miles. The cover gasket should also be changed if it's leaking. We wiped around the cover and since it's not leaking, we won't be changing it this time around. We have 3 quarts of full synthetic 75W90 gear oil. We level the vehicle on all sides. We have a pan and a 3 8 ratchet with extension, which will fit the square on the drain plug under the banjo here, as well as the filter plug on the passenger side here just before the drive shaft. The first thing we do is make sure the filler plug comes loose. If you live up north where they spread salt on the roads, you know what I mean. If you can't break it loose, do not drain the oil. You may need to get your vehicle to a shop to get the plug heated with a torch. Once the filler plug is removed, we loosen the drain plug and before removing it all the way, we make sure the pan is under it. While it's draining, we check the magnet on the inside of the plug. What to look for is chunks of metal. That would be a bad sign, but metal dust is normal. To make sure the oil is drained all the way from the axle housing, we jack up one side at a time using a bottle jack. Just lift it enough to give it some pitch and wait a few minutes to let it flow towards the banjo drain. There's not much in there, but since we are replacing it with 100% synthetic, we want to make sure the old oil is mostly drained out. Now it's time to put the drain plug back on. The drain plug has the fine thread compared to the filler plug and it has a magnet. The filler plug has pipe thread and it's shorter. We make sure it's not cross threaded as we screw it back in and then tighten it. Now that the drain plug is back on, we start pouring the oil in. These plastic containers with the nozzle on the end make it very easy to pour it without spilling. Now the specs on this 2002 1500 rear differential recommends 2.5 quarts and it should be 1 inch below the filler. Well, we ended up pouring all 3 quarts and when we measured the distance from the top with this wire bent at 1 inch, it barely touched the tip. Either these containers are not exactly a quart, or the specs are an approximate. And anyway, we will check the level after driving a few days. We put the plug back on and tighten it. And while we're under the truck, it's a good idea to check the seal by the shaft. It should be dry, just like this one. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.